I hope you guys are all well. I have the most bizarre story to share with you. So in life, there are always going to be opportunities and sometimes you get a choice. You take it or you don't. So anyway, yesterday I was walking along the seafront just here as I normally do, just to get some fresh air, get a coffee. And I saw this chap filming the sea from up there. He was on the promenade bit as I was walking past. And the day before was a Sunday and it was beautiful. One of the best days we've had this year so far. Anyway, I thought I'd make conversation with him as it was really foggy yesterday. Couldn't really see the sea, ironically. So I got talking to him. I started the conversation. All I said was, mate, you should have seen it yesterday. It was unreal because it was, and that was a Sunday. Long story short, we got chatting, your general small talk to start with, and then we got onto the topic of football and work and stuff. So I told him I did YouTube. He was really fascinated by that. And he shared with me that he plays semi-pro for Hartford, which is north of London. And I was like, wow, okay, this is a bit surreal. <laughs> Where I am is a very quiet area. You don't see too many people. And basically he's come down on a holiday, have a couple of days off and we got talking and it turns out that he is fascinated by the knuckleball free kick and he scored some knuckleball free kicks in game, which is actually insane. A real niche skill, as you guys know. I don't come across too many knuckleball free kick takers, especially at the beach. <laughs> so that was a real bizarre moment. And anyway, we got talking further and I said to him, ah, oh, I'm filming tomorrow, do you fancy coming with me to film and yeah he was all up for it I've got some kit for him to borrow for the day and I'm just generally so excited because this is an opportunity that we're both on board with we've both taken and who knows what today holds I'm so excited honestly guys from what I've seen from the in-game footage he shared with me he's a very technical player so Moments like this really excite me. I love being able to give and teach people my skills and I might learn something as well today. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave your thoughts down below and let's get into it. All good? <laughs> How you man? You good? Bad, man. Woke up refreshed this morning. This is Dante. Met him yesterday yeah. and today we're filming. Yep. Unbelievable, isn't it? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Been in the car a couple of minutes and straight from the off we're vibing, getting along and just talking about how it mad this is. Yeah, 100%. We're on the beach right now. Like, on the spot. Got no boots. <laughs> I actually had my boots in the back as well and I took them out because I was saying I'm going to be with my son and my missus. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. And then... There we are. <laughs> literally, both said the word, that football word. You know what I mean? And then, Mate, that's we're the here one. now. Yeah, literally. Yeah, that's the one. Football is a universal language, guys. 100%. As you know, I've travelled the world doing football and you don't necessarily need to talk with your mouth, you talk with your feet. 100%. And that's what it's all about. So the fact that we've connected through football shows the value of football, not just from a money perspective in terms of the pros that earn the millions playing, the value of it in that sense of being able to connect with someone love. and build a friendship. Yeah, 100%, yeah. mate. You know I mean? That's really early, so. It is, seven in the morning. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it in. Get down to the business. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Even this is like, what are the chances? Got the boots. Now, I mean, you can't go wrong with a black pair. Spawn. I mean, <laughs> like, I did, they're so comfortable. It's crazy, it's so comfortable. And we were talking yesterday in our chat about you having wider feet yeah. and how it's hard to find a wide fit boot for 100%. a winner slash attacker. So attacker so and a few ones hit the nail on the head with that. These are the V6, so the model Fusions. before the version seven. Yeah. But yeah, the boots at Sterling, Harvey Elliott, all those ballers wear. No, and now Dante's gonna whip it up as well. You're gonna bless me with these. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> sure, God, <but> me. <laughs> hey, he's going, he's going, look at that. <laughs> yeah, we're ready. Mate, a weak foot around the world. Yeah, yeah. Come on, guys, drop a like for that. <laughs> 2006, so 2006. I'm not gonna do the math on that, but it's a long time. And this is a, just a replica ball. I love this ball. Yeah. 
a cheap football, 10 quid from MM Directs. Yeah, you, know, you can't go wrong with one. Yeah, football's a football, I mean. Exactly that. Anyway. Testing you early. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> it just springs, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Left foot, right foot, you got in, you know? Yeah, man. Oh. That's it. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> Setting up. We're very limited for time as Dante's got to head off. Get back and have a freshen up before he heads off. Checking out. What time are you checking out? I've got to check out like 10.30. Yeah, it's early, isn't it? 10.30 still. So. We're working with it. So what we're going to do is a mini challenge, a quick one. We're going to set up from three areas on the pitch obviously the 18 yard line is faded but we reckon this is 25 yep, 25, 25 yards from goal 25 25 yards three different spots and it's facing my strike so where i'm hitting it just over here yep between this area here and this is where i want to make contact with it so it's facing down love that where are you hitting the ball as you come through so over you ah interesting you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah yeah so it's giving that top spin type of thing yeah yeah I can see it, honestly, I can see it. You're, you're talking the, the knowledge of the knuckleball. Love it. One, two, three. Slide it to your left. Yeah. Foot in front. One, two, three, three. That's it. And then up a 90, obviously. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Love that, mate. Love that. Again, the top spin, as you were saying, the ball rotated downwards then. You know what I mean? Love it. And it does, it does the rest for you. That's it. Going Conzi style in the Mizuno Alpha boots today. I forgot the cones today, so I've got the pegs on the ground. First shot. Not a bad first go. <laughs> Keeping it rolling. Just over. Okay, now we head over to the right side. Haven't hit a right side of knuckleball in ages. Okay, that's recorded. Give me a sec. What are we saying? Is that 30? I would say it's about 30. 30 yards? Sweet. That's in my range. And the other ball's a marker again. Yep. Sweet, I'll just set this up for the free kicks. That's what we hate about the knuckleball. What's crazy is that if you watch my reaction to this initially, I look disappointed that it didn't go in. But when I watched the clip back, I realised that Dante was clapping and it made me think, has it gone in? So I've rewatched it, rewatched it, and I actually think it's a goal, which is crazy because it's a sick knuckleball. And the fact that it is a goal, I'm pretty sure it is anyway, makes it all the better. So it's really funny that my initial reaction was like, oh, that's what we hate about a knuckleball. That's what we hate about a knuckleball. And actually, it was a goal. So what a vibe that is. Oh, the backspin. That was, that was too undercut on that. So as I've hit that, guys, I hit the ball to underneath, which is creating the backspin effect, which we don't want. Oh, go on. Oh. Yeah, man. It's on target.
that is a great example because we were just talking about how you're getting the top spin consistently yeah. consistently top spin which is quality mm -hmm. which is great but you want the dead balls don't you i need this yeah so what we're going to do with that is work on the dead ball contacts so what we're saying is dante's got it down in the sense of catching the follow through yeah as he's hitting it his left foot his weak foot the one he's using for balance is coming off sharp mm. and we were talking yesterday you look at the likes of de bruyne yeah you watch don't focus on his contact the foot he's kicking the ball with focus on the weak foot the yep. one that he's balancing the standing leg the one he's using to cancel the follow through because what happens if the follow through is the majority of the momentum yeah. comes from catching the follow through makes so, sense but that's all in the weak leg yeah and really put the weight on your left shoulder imagine you're like you're almost doing this you're almost yeah. going like that and then like that yeah. step it to the side it's like a step, right? yeah oh oh mate that was sick! Yeah, yeah! You must be buzzed with that! Yeah, I'm right with it. <laughs> nice man! Yeah? That's come in that has. You think if I'm the keeper here, yeah. I'm not asking wide, last second. Come in here. Come in, bottom corner, happy days. Oh, do you know what you could do? You could click one into me. Yep. Come around this area. Yep. First touch. Yep. Minimum, minimum, maximum two. Yes. With a following strike. Gotcha. Yeah. Nice man. Oh, that's a ball. Oh, that's a great ball as well. Give you much power. After I'm gonna give you some. Taking some zoom off. Deal with it. Get out of your feet. Shots. Oh, too wide again. Two touches. Hit it. Better. There we go. That's it, no? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking too much about the corners. Deal with it. Better. Better. There we go. Lost it. Deal with it. Better. Hit it. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> love that what a vibe good workout i just feel that energy honestly it's good man. i feel like when i'm out here by myself i do struggle to maintain the, the, the pace and yeah. the commitment and 100%. when you have a body around you some of you guys have actually put this in the comments before if you have someone with you it's just that bit of motivation, bit of a give, bit of a buzz. Yeah, it gives you more. It gives you more to do with. It gives you more um, excitement to the game. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Love it. Anything you want to say? Any like call out, shout outs? Um, shout your channel, anything? Yeah, Spartan TV, um, Sunday League team um, that, we, that I play for. Quality Love content. Place. Check out in the description, guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out the app if you haven't already. Lots of premium content on there including ways of you earning tokens, so KTs, knuckleballs, for your chance to be rewarded as a fan. Go and check it out, and we'll see you again very soon. All in the description. Back to it.